Yo, hi guys. Uh, today we are coming with uh, another build in Minecraft. Uh, it is the underwater base, which uh, I really wanted to do for a long time. Uh, here I'm just uh, preparing the shape of it. I wanted it to be a circle, but uh, sadly I'm not <laughs> um, capable of doing such a thing. I need the more practice. Uh, I hope next time it's gonna be looking much much better. So yeah. So we finished the shape of it, uh, now let's get the inside of it. Now we need to get rid of the water inside. Uh, for that I'm just gonna use a sponge. After we sucked out all the water, now I want to make a shape of my base inside of it. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't want to make it that big. I still wanted it to be a little bit small, compact and uh, not a lot of space. But just enough space to like have it. So you can put everything that you need. After uh, I was happy with uh, how big my base is, I uh, wanted to see how it's gonna look like from inside watching the dolphins and all the water. Hi dolphin, I'm your new neighbor. Also here I changed my shaders because uh, this one looks much better. There is less visibility in the water but uh, still gives it a little bit more um, spice on it here we just start decorating putting some glowstone making sure I have enough of light in my base
after I was happy how much glowstone and light was in my base I wanted to check if the torch will uh, give any other effect but uh, it didn't maybe lantern I didn't try it maybe in the next one here I got a little bit water in my base uh, I was thinking quick and uh, wanted to put the sponge but my reactions are like uh, that cat uh, so yeah Here I wanted to add some furniture, uh, deciding which wood should I use. Did uh, also a little trick with uh, banners, putting one block underneath and putting the stairs on top of it so it gives a little effect having a pillow on your furniture. to add the table as well I was not happy with this table maybe I didn't even need to put one maybe I should go with the slab just having a little table than this one so this definitely I could change it but uh, maybe next time Here I wanted to add some uh, of the water flowers or whatever the name is. Uh, the thing that I didn't know that they go bad uh, if they're in the, not in the water. So that was a mistake. I got confused there a little bit. Wanted to have that coral effect, but I, I didn't. I thought it was a glitch or something, but quickly I realized, oh yeah, that will not work. <laughs> I decided to put a little bit of uh, dirt uh, and I was pretty happy with this uh, adding something in my base was the best idea I ever had um, maybe if I added a tree maybe make a little bit more space add a tree that will be looking even better maybe on that uh, dirt part but um, I was happy with this as well I added some flowers as well and it was looking pretty good Here I was just adding some uh, survival stuff. Uh, I put it in the wall so there is enough space for everything. Uh, some uh, blast furnace um, near the furniture, but I, there's a thing where yes, I did need a little bit more space, but it was it was nicely 
either the campfire I just thought it will give a nice better effect if that is there as well either the bed so you can sleep there here I was looking for a chest and I was deciding if I want to add a chest plate stand uh, so that uh, you can hang your armor if you want also put the chest in the wall so that there's also more space So this is the end result I'm pretty happy I could done some better stuff but I'm still learning uh, how to decorate and design a uh, little survival houses um, yeah um, I hope you enjoyed the video I will show also from outside how it looks like Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please like and subscribe, uh, I hope I see you in my live streams as well, goodbye!